What's up guys, it's Brad from The Architect here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the import images as planes function inside of Blender to import stock elements into your scene and use this technique to improve your city flower shots. Now, usually I do any kind of compositing with stock footage inside of After Effects once I've rendered out all of my different passes in Blender. However, when you import your stock footage as a plane inside of Blender, you obviously have a little bit more control over where you can place that footage inside of the 3D world and create a really nice looking result. All right, so let's get started. Here we are inside of Blender. All we have here in the scene is just a basic City Builder 3D asset here. We're using the skyscraper number four from the uh, Cyberpunk pack here. So it's Clean Future Large 4. And we've just imported that into our scene. And uh, we've also imported our cable cam cinematic movement rig here and placed our uh, pan and tilt control by the building. And then we've just animated a little crane movement here. As you can see on the right side, this is our camera view. And in the background here, I just have a city image projected onto a plane as well. I've used images as planes to import this uh, background photo as, as you can see if we go to render view here's our background photo and then uh, as you can see here if we go to uh, shader editor all this background photo is I've uh, switched the picture that we imported as a plane into an emission shader so that the lighting that we add to our scene doesn't really affect the uh, background plate itself as the background plate is just projected onto that plane and is essentially just an image for our environment but uh, yeah that's our basic scene setup here we have a nice ground plane and this is one way you can create some very simple uh, city flyover shots with just a background plate and a foreground CG building and obviously I have a ton of videos on how you can use particle systems and build other CG buildings into your scene as well to create a little bit more detail but I thought I'd just show you guys this super simple setup here before I add a stock element to our scene using images as planes but uh, anyways let's go ahead and continue here I'll go ahead and get out of uh, camera view and I'm going to uh, disable our background here as well. And what I want to do for the sake of this tutorial here for this scene is I just want to add some atmosphere coming out of the top of this building here. So this is kind of like a vent here. So I want to just add an atmosphere element coming out of the vent. So this is actually super easy to do. What I've done here, I just have some uh, stock footage that I've downloaded online and I'm just going to go to our images as planes option here. And if you don't have this option, what you can do is you just go to edit preferences you go to uh, your add-on panel here, then type in images in the search bar and make sure this checkbox is selected so that this feature is enabled. But uh, anyways, to import your stock footage, all you would do is you would just go to that images as planes import option. And we'll just go here to uh, 4K fog overlays where I've uh, downloaded my stock footage. And I'm going to choose the slow fog cloud stock element here and just import it as a plane. And this is going to pretty much set up everything for you. It's just a video file of some stock footage. And this is our stock element here. And if we go to shading, we can see that what we have here is just our video footage plugged into a principal shader. And if we go to render view, we can see the footage we're working with here. Now this specific element of stock footage that I imported here is not pre-keyed. If this stock footage had a pre-keyed alpha channel, we wouldn't have to deal with this. And all we would need to do is just grab this color node here from our uh, cloud input and connect it to the emission shader. And uh, that would be enough for us to add this to our scene wherever we want it. But uh, as you can see, we need to take out the black background here. So let's go ahead and do that. Since our alpha channel really isn't working, we'll go ahead and disconnect it from here. And now we'll just go ahead and press shift A, go to uh, mix RGB. And I'll just drag this over here. And we want to change this mix node to screen. And we're going to connect the color input to the factor. And then I'll go ahead and add a RGB curves here. And we'll connect the color output of our screen to our color input for our RGB curves. And we'll connect our color factor output from our curves to our base color in our principal shader. And then I'll take that same point and drag it to the emission as well. And now I'll take the screen output here and connect it to our alpha channel. And finally, to take out our black background here, I'll just change the color one setting here on our screen node and bring it all the way down to black. And all that's going on here is we're taking our color, we're uh, putting it through a screen node to take out the black background, and then we're running that to an RGB curve so we can control uh, you know, how bright our uh, smoke is in the uh, stock footage. And then that output is uh, going to our color for our shader, as well as our emission. And since it's uh, atmospheric smoke, it works well in the emission shader, but you can also take this off and it's just a uh, darker smoke. You can't even really see it, but it's uh, still there. But since this is more of a foggy atmosphere, 
atmosphere. It's nice to have it in the emission node as well. And then we've uh, created an alpha channel by keying out the black with the screen node. But like I said before, if you have a pre-keyed alpha channel, all you would have to do is just connect your color straight to your RGB curves and uh, that RGB curves into your base color and emission input here. And uh, the alpha should already be connected by default when you use the images as planes import option. But uh, anyways, that's how we can import a atmosphere to our scene. And what we can do now, if we go back to the layout mode here, is we can just place this wherever we want it. So as I mentioned before, we're gonna put it at the top of our CG building here, right where this vent is. Just maybe scale it up a little bit. Something like that should be pretty good. Let's go ahead and go to rendered view. And as you can see, already getting a pretty nice look here. We can maybe scale it up a little bit more. These are 4K elements, so shouldn't be a problem if we scale it up. And you can kind of see the uh, edge of our uh, plane here, but that's just because when you're rendering, you don't have a lot of samples there. Once the sampling goes up, it all disappears. And uh, yeah, there you have it. Now we've added a nice atmospheric element to our vent. And as I've mentioned in some of the previous videos, it's really nice to have some live action elements in your final composite as it really brings a lot of realism to your scene. And this works really well as long as the camera doesn't you know move to the side of it you can see it's just a 2d effect so it only works when the camera is straight on it or even at a little angle you can get away with it but uh yeah that's just a quick tip for today it's a nice way to very easily add some atmosphere and some realism to your scene one more thing i should mention is if you want to change the thickness of your smoke one thing you can do is just go to the shading tab here and we can select our uh, footage element here and in our shader panel here, we'll add a, uh, another RGB curves here. And we'll just connect it right before our alpha channel here. And now we have another way we can control how thick the smoke really is. As you, as you can see, when we boost the RGB curves, it gets a lot thicker and more atmospheric. Versus if we bring it down, we can almost make it like it's almost not even there. And just a very subtle uh, atmospheric look. It's also important that your stock element that you're adding has uh, feathered layers so that you know there aren't any harsh edges where the uh, stock elements leave the frame. Obviously, that can be super uncomfortable canny and pretty much destroy the effect but uh anyways guys that's it for this video i hope it was helpful as always feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below i am going to be recording some of our own atmospheric elements and releasing them for free in our next update of city builder 3d so stay tuned for that update in the coming months i'll see you guys next time